Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate you all for your love and support. If you're new here, my name is Ella Sotibu. My OGs, thank you. My newbies, I appreciate you. Please like this video and also comment at the end. Share. When you subscribe, turn on your bell. That's the only way you always get my notification. So let's get started. Let's just get right the video without me wasting your time. There's this uh, comment that I normally get. I think I should address it. Comments like you are using them to get views or you are making this video because of views. You understand? Something like that. Truth be told, you just answer the question. When channel is being open, what is it open for? It's to get views. Okay? So that's why it's settled. Videos are be done to for views to come. Okay? And when you are a popular YouTuber like this, you know, you can't really control anymore. There are channels who also, to, who also analyze my video. You know, my vlog channels is there. Because this is not my only channel. I have three channels. I also have a more bank. It's with Ella. So, there are channels who also analyze me. There are channels who also drag me. There are channels who also react to me. So, once you are popular YouTubers, you know, you can't really control who analyze you, who don't analyze you, you understand? You don't really have to do right for people to analyze. You don't really have to do wrong for people to analyze you, you get. And the reason why you, who is committing, nobody is analyzing you is because nobody knows you. Yeah, you are not popular. So that's it. And this, this couple of people that subscribe to their channel right from where they were 20,000 subscribers. So let's go to the climate. I want you guys, the subscribers, if you're watching somebody, don't just watch and go. Even if it's a voiceover, don't just do voiceover. Don't just listen to the voice and go. Try to connect. Be that person that when you're watching somebody's video, you are not just watching as if you are passing by. No. Try to feel the person, like the person is talking to you directly, like the person is there with you. Study their body expression, their body movements. Study their facial expression. You understand? Even if his voice, when somebody is doing, you are listening to somebody's voice, voiceover. From the voice, you know if that person is depressed, stressed. If that person is happy or happy, if that person is angry, or you understand. So when you watch the climate, you don't just watch them, oh, I just want to watch them, give them that views. No. Try to connect. Does this video look forced? Is Wissy be forced to do this video? The appearance of Wissy in this video, is it how he usually appears before? This couple, are they still the way they used to be before? Is Befe faking it? Does Wixi look oppressed? Is he looking abused? You understand? These are things you, you check. You try to understand. If I go further about this issue, I want to use myself as an example. My subscribers knows me. You guys that are watching, you knows me that all my channel, all my videos, I mean. When I start it, I'm always excited. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm not just only excited. You see how I always demonstrate my body. You understand? The way I do my body, I want to I will touch my hair, I will touch, you know, I will touch whatever I'm wearing, my earring is used to be. So my subscribers already know me that this is how happy I always look when I do video. They imagine me when I come to open a video or I start a video. I'm not doing, hi guys, actually, I do it like this. Then again, I say, 
Oh, I'm not even boldly to look at the camera. You understand? If I do that kind of thing, some people will come, will, they must message me. Ella, you look stressed. Ella, are you happy today? This is not you. The energy you give to this is not you. You understand? So people already know how I do my video, my energy. So instead of me to always show my face, sit down, I will look stressed because I am working throughout the day. I am very busy. Then I will still want to come and sit down and make video, show my face. So me to look stressed, I will just use that energy to just do voiceover and do some other things. I don't know if you guys understand. So back to the climate, guys. That clip, that small clip, I'm going to play at the end. If you watch that video about the climate, truth be told, that video, in fact, it looks as if we still have to be there because of advertising that mattress. Because of that mattress. And that is why I have to put a little part of where they were talking about the mattress so that you will see it all. If not, I'm supposed to cut that part off because the mattress, the company paid them to advertise it. They did not pay me. They did not pay me. I'm not supposed to advertise for them. But this is what I do here because I'm talking about them and they talk about it. I feel it is it would be wicked on my side to cut that part. You understand? So it looks as if Wissy was asked to sit there because of they want to talk about that mattress. They want to talk about that brand. Wissy was not feeling it. He looked forced. If they felt can tell Wissy, I told them that you will be arrested. Guys, that thing is a very simple thing for somebody to look as if Wissy was not there. As if his spirit was not there in the circles and he came back. It took him a while. Like he tried to uh, process the information. I told them. I told them you were arrested. I don't know if you guys understand. So it looked as if he wanted to he, he, he want to process that statement. The Mayfair has to look at his face. I say, eh, okay. Yes. So I don't know how you guys watch videos. Do you just watch video from or you watch videos and you connect with the person talking? Then you know when somebody is forced, when somebody is tired, when somebody is being abused and all that. Now, there's no evidence of abuse. Okay? But allegedly, if Mayfair should come out and say we see is abusing her, the only abuse that we see can go as far is verba. Maybe talking with mouth. Maybe you see, uh, you know, we see abusing Mayfair with words. But if we see should come out now and speak and say Mayfair is abusing him, there are so many abuse that is possible there. Not just verbally. We see can, can be, be beat it or push or starve not to eat you understand or even give it a slap allegedly okay so there are so many this thing but if in any way that is the case which any of the party don't, they should not hide it maybe oh if i say it now nobody to take care of me again if i say it now nobody yeah if this woman go nobody will come again that you are dying in silence when you are present in the video, it looks as if you are not present. I don't know if you, are, you understand. So that's how I see it. This is just me giving advice. The same thing with you. Don't cover up for your abuser. Don't cover up for the person who is, you know, doing all that to you. But if you, if you are one of those people as a subscriber or as a viewer... You go by what you see on social media. Like, no, 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 no. You believe everything. No, you don't believe everything you see on social media. You don't. If you believe everything you see on social media, especially couples, couple lifestyle, interracial, interable couples, huh, you're your own, no. Because most of the people even go to the extent of starting to compare their perfect life. 
to social media life. You know why I call it perfect? Because it is real. <laughs> Whether it's perfect or not, but it is real. You can only be true to yourself. Not that one that you are seeing on social media. And there is life outside camera, off camera. A lot of times, there are some people who have been exposed that what they show on camera is not who they are. Off camera. Forget about whatever you are seeing or whatever the person comes to say. Okay? There is a woman that was, you know, that was exposed. And the children and the people who are staying with her said she would not give their food. But once she wants to all camera, she would say, Oh, yeah, smile. Oh, yeah, smile. That's what, you know, her maid say. Everybody, you know, immediately you start seeing everybody smiling on camera. Meanwhile, she have, since morning, she have not given those children food. You get. So, even as, the way I see Befe, we see would not fall, and Befe would not give us a clip of it. It's not possible. Except camera is not allowed there. If you can carry the man and put him on the ground to take that picture for top day, and you did not even give a clip. So, is it full of be push or outside? And why is it that the explanation of the previous video and the present video is different? Yeah. So, for that video, this is just my last time addressing it, okay? You understand? So whatever it is, I wish them the best and I pray that they works well, okay? You understand? Befe is a, is a wonderful woman. She's hardworking, okay? She's strong. We admire her strengths. But if this like this is happening, she should not be overlooked. She should not be overlooked. Okay? And we as content creators should try as much to be true to ourselves as subscribers. You understand? Because, in fact, the perfect content creators are those people who also share their dark moments to their subscriber. Know that every time people are watching you, your kitchen is being kept. I'm just using it. This is not just me, fair. Your bed is in the position, your kitchen is in position. Your... No, no, no. Show them when your kitchen is still scattered. Guys, my kitchen is just scattered. I want to arrange it now. Yes. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me leave a little clip for you guys to watch. Please like this video, okay? See you guys in my next video. Ciao. Fresh parts in time away, but I had a bit of an accident during the trip. Yeah. But uh, I'm okay. Bang my head a little okay. bit. My chair broke. Okay. Fell out of bed. But my like was great. No concussion. Mm -hmm. No broken bones, so yeah. I'm really thankful. Just need to get my chair repaired, mm -hmm. which is shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, we're gonna give you guys a proper story time probably next time. It was, it was crazy. It, it was, was actually scary. really scary. Like, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For those that pray for us, your prayers they they pay off. They off. work. The prayers they, they work. So. Good morning. They've seen my face, but they haven't seen your face yet. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I was telling them you're resting. Please. Yeah. <laughs> had myself a weekend, a last weekend when we went to the camp. Mm -hmm. Had a accident with my chair, which basically the armrest on my chair broke off. Completely snapped off. Yeah. This is a new-ish chair. We've only had it for about six months. But when it snapped, obviously I was not expecting a metal armrest to just break off like mm -hmm. that. And so I went over, like I fell out of my chair, landed on my head, guys. Yeah. Scary stuff. So scary. Yeah. And obviously, like, your back was affected. Like, yeah, like, landed on my head, like my whole body was aching, my ribs, my back. So mm -hmm. it's been a rough few days. But I'm really thankful that it just so happened that we've been using our Brooklyn mattress. Mm -hmm. And we're really appreciative of them for sponsoring today's video. It